Hey guys, Luke for Smith here, and this is going to be another movie review. This is going to be of Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. Um, now, before I get started, I'm not really into the Fast and Furious movies. The reason why I wanted to see this one is because I actually seen a trailer, and the trailer looks really good, and it's good, got two of my favourite actors in it. So that is why I wanted to see it. Now I know this one's got more of a comical element to it, which is another reason why I wanted to see it, because I like a bit of action comedy uh, sort of thing, because them things do do good. Um, the film is just over two hours long, so I had to sit tight for, for that for that ride. Um, overall, I really enjoyed it. It was a re really good film. I thought it was going to be like 50-50, mm, but I quite enjoyed it. The main premise was this girl from M. M oh, I have to get it right. What's MI5, isn't it? Yeah, that that is our um, MI5 is the UK version of the CIA. <laughs> um, yeah, the um, this 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 girl off of the um. MI5 gets infected with a virus and it's up to Hobbs and Shaw to keep her safe while they find a cure to save mankind. Uh, basically what the virus does is it just kills off the weak so only the strong survive which is weird because it's kind of what Albert Wesker wanted in Resident Evil 5 video game so the, I, I, I think that is the only um, thing that I find odd about this version of um, of Fast and Furious is that whole virus storyline. It's like, have they even da da dabbled in that sort of thing before in in the franchise? It seems a bit sci-fi for a Fast and Furious movie but I suppose they wanted to try, try to try something new and to be fair it actually worked um, the acting was, was really good the stunts was, was amazing So, because obviously you're going to see a Fast and Furious film due to the action and the stunts obviously every, <laughs> everyone will, will agree on that um, Character development was as good. That's, that's another thing that I enjoy. Like two guys who absolutely hate each other have to team up to to save to save this girl, and they do in the end. They do a good job. Uh, there's a bit of um, character de development in there as well, and um, yeah, it's overall a, a good film. Um, Jason Statham and Drain the Rock, Drain the Rock Johnson do a very good job in this one, and they add a really good comical element as well, which I which I really liked as well. So, yeah, um, so go and see it. I know this is I know this is a bit late. I know it came out um last week. I'm usually a bit late seeing seeing these films because of the um how how busy I am anyway. Um, just to give it time, and I'm recording this when I'm uploading it. It is Thursday, early 8th of August 2019, and I'm recording this about 8 minutes to 11 o'clock in the p.m. So, yeah, leaving it to a late. Um, yeah, go, go and see it if you haven't already, and if you like it, go and see it again if you can afford it. Um, really um, good. Um, also, watch till the end of the credits because they have a um re really funny um post credits scenes as well so that's good i always watch i always watch till after the credits on films you know just in case they try and just try to squeeze a little scene in like a little easter egg scene or a little trope that 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 might mean a sequel um i'm not quite sure if they're gonna have a sequel for this but to be fair, they make sequels to anything now nowadays, so there might be a sequel. It really depends. Um, another good thing I like in this is Ryan Reynolds is in it. Obviously, if Deadpool's going to be in it, then you're going to be in for a treat. <laughs> um, yeah. 
overall, great film. And like I said before, go, go and see it. It's out in cinemas or theatres, whenever you're in America or not. Um, and um, yeah, I wanted to make this short review now because after this, I'm going to be making another video which I'm going to be uploading on Saturday. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time.